remember that. Hi, <laughs> welcome to Bobby's Hobby House. We're you almost ready. <laughs> yeah, I got caught. I was looking the other way. Uh, we're coming, what, this is December already? <laughs> already, Terry. Aren't you glad? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have as a guest this puppies. evening, my wife Sandy. Who's still surviving. Who's still surviving, and we're not to the humbug stage yet. We've got some cheery words, and the tonight's program is called Crafty Christmas. So we just want to show you a few ideas that you can give the crafter in your life. Crafter. Yeah, some last what, minute. What determines whether this person is a crafter or not? To craft or not to craft? Working with your hands is what I qualify, okay? A hobby and crafts. You and I... Um, say hobby as a generic term that indicates working with your hands in leisure time. And doesn't matter whether you're building a railroad or doesn't a rocket, matter, matter whether it's leisure or time or not either. Or whatever. Well no, spare time. How's that? We don't have we don't joke. have a lot of that, but okay. um, I hope some of the What have you been doing in your spare time this week? We've been decorating the shop and the, the shop. The <laughs> quit. <laughs> We've been decorating the shop. Not our house, but the shop. But we brought some ideas tonight to show you some gifts that you can give um, the artist or the craft person in your life. And then next show, we're going to show you what you can give the modeler in your life. So you guys get the next time, and, and we'll kind of spread it out like that, okay? Okay, okay. We, can, we can do that. Okay, well, so, how do you determine this? Uh, well, we've got a lot of parents who would like to have people who are crafters or art people. That too. Well, we'd like to encourage people all the way from youngsters on up to the... We have a, um, a lady who does oil painting who... I, she must be close to 90 or so now. You're not going to call painting. names or anything? No, we're not, we're not going to talk names. Um, I might get it wrong. You know how I am with names. But, you know, artists come in all sizes and, and ages. and it's how, how early do, do art people start? Oh, we try to... Well... Kids, as soon as they can pick up a crayon, will start and drawing get over on the to wall. the wall, right? <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's the caveman you know, syndrome. Right, give them a piece of paper to do it on as something instead of the walls. Or okay, so we've got some art materials here tonight mm -hmm. that we'd like to show. And uh, beginning with some, what are these, just marking pens? Yeah, we have a variety of different kinds of markers in the um, art department. This is a Mars graphic. This is the classy kind. Um, but we have them from little tiny sets on up to 60, 72 color sets. So a lot of choices of colors of markers and we also sell markers individually and we have papers for markers. So if you like to work with markers instead of pens and pencils, you can, you can do that. And we have a lot of uh, a lot of books, stencil books, a lot of books about oil all kinds books, of things. water coloring books, all kinds. Yeah, yeah there's you one over really there. I saw one it. recently about uh, things that boys like to draw and things that girls like to draw. Right, we have books They're for horses children and, and we have them for the adults too. Here are just a couple of, these are stencil books and dinosaurs are real popular oh, with young yeah. kids now. And these stencils you could do on the walls of the, of the bedrooms yeah, or you can do them on clothing. Yeah, we've had some kids in with that Baronosaurus on their t-shirt right, this past right. week. And these are very simple to use stencils and this one is nautical which is very apropos to our area. We're on the beach, folks. That's right. But we have a lot of different stencil books. So if you have a stenciler in your life or just someone who likes to trace and color and, and cut and stuff. And this isn't just for kids though, we should say that. Adults do this a lot. There's no age limit on That's the right. book, folks. You can and we also have all the paints and brushes and things that go along with that. Including some of the paints and brushes as seen on TV. Yes, Mr. Bill Alexander. Yep. We carry his complete line of brushes and paints. And he has his set. And for Christmas, he has a new set. You want to hold that one up, Terry? This one. Right. Okay, I'm going to hold this up carefully because of the glare. Okay, this yeah, set is the complete set. And it comes with his video, Wet on Wet which is a $69.95 tape. So it's a very, very good deal. It's like getting the tape free. And it has all his brushes and everything. And if you've ever seen Mr. Alexander on television, you know it's a really exciting We're going to put paint. on a show like that one time, right? Where we get up here and We might have paint to something. see if we can't get him. Oh, okay. How about that? Okay, and right over there next to that is, for the very young artist, we have the Crayola, the Crayola Caddy, Caddy that has all the crayons and markers and paints for the young budding artist to get them started. So you can see there's a wide variety. We also have a lot of graphic supplies and for the graphic And papers and canvas and mm -hmm. 
If it has something to do with art, we probably have some of it. That's right. And then we have three experts over there. Yep. Sheila and your mom and your brother Donnie. Okay. And they're there and they can help. With and then after you've you done the art material things, we have frames. Boy, do we have frames to frame it. Frames and mats. And ribbon. <laughs> yeah, you can use ribbon okay. on your mats. In fact, uh, on I'm the gonna frames, do that. Too. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do that one time. Make a mat out of ribbon. Um, but it's also, we have frames and, and framing supplies for your needlework, too. A lot of people are into needlework, and they like to give yeah. needlework for Christmas. So we have all the supplies. We have the cross-stitch supplies, and we have the frames and mats to do that with. Okay, and for those of you young people out there who are going to be off for the Christmas holidays very shortly, right? Um, and I know you're looking so forward hear. to that, but some of your sadistic teachers are going to give you homework assignments to do over the holidays, mm -hmm. uh, which may include some of those history fair projects or science fair projects. And for those of you who are going to find that holiday time an opportunity to work on your, your project board, we have project boards really and letters. Really think they're going to work on homework over the holidays. Oh, I always did. Oh, sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't even uh -huh. sound very plausible, does right. it? Right. Okay. <laughs> and it snows in Florida. <laughs> it has. <laughs> okay. Well, we have this project boards. That's what you're trying we to have, say. We have project boards right. uh, suitable for any kind of projects. Yeah. Okay. They it's, come blank. No projects are on them already. Right. You've got to make up. But we do have the science books for young... Um, science Experiment projects, books yeah. for young scientists or something like that. We have a few of those books, too. Um, Another thing I want to show is if you have someone who likes to paint and stuff, here's an idea that's just a little bit different. This is called marbleizing. It's a marbleizing kit. It has everything you need in it to do a marbleizing project. And I've brought one of them that we did. This is a box. It certainly is. <laughs> yeah. That looks like it's made out of marble. And you do the inside of it, too, so that it looks like it's stone all the way through. And it's a very easy three-step process. We did this on uh, one of the programs yes, a while Yes, we back. did a marbleizing show, and then we had a class just a while back, and they okay. had a ball. They were really taking the little feathers and veining away. They were, they were having a good time. These are marbleizing terms, feathers <laughs> and veining and that sort right. of thing. That, yes. uh, we're going to have another one of those classes in our spring schedule. Ah, speaking of our spring schedule. Hopefully. It's just about complete, so it should be ready just before Christmas. Give us a little preview. What kind of things are out there for, um, for the spring? Well, we're going to have some toll painting classes. We're going to have um, lots and lots of t-shirt classes, of course. Wearable art is still wearable so very hard. Wearable art is still hard. going. And you're wearing your wearable right. art again. Wearable art's one of those things, too, that, you know, we talk uh, about um, make it tonight and give it tomorrow. You know, there are a lot of projects, projects. that you can, you can do in one night and give as a gift the next day, mm -hmm. basically. That's about how long it takes you. And making a, a t-shirt or a sweatshirt is just about like that long. It doesn't take long. Now, the one we did a few weeks ago, you painted in the afternoon and wore it to the show that that's, evening. <laughs> that, was, that was the leaf print shirt, yeah. yes. That's exactly what I did. So it's just that quick. And you didn't look like the tattooed lady afterwards. <laughs> no, it was dry. I made sure of that. Okay, and we have Papa Dale or Daddy Dale coming back uh, to teach Dale airbrushing. Boyd. Yeah, yeah Dale Boyd. Papa now. Yeah. yeah, he'll be doing airbrushing, and we'll have um, jewelry classes. You know, we've got a young lady who is usually our cashier, but she's volunteered to teach some of the um, she paper She was coerced. Earrings. I well, saw that. Kind of, yeah, but Tasha's, she really Tasha's wanted to. going to come out and teach the earring, earring class. She's classes, been making a yeah. lot of those earrings. So we're going to have that, and that's very exciting because very a lot of people want to know, and there are no books on doing it. So it'll be a really good thing to do. Okay. So this is another thing that wouldn't take very long to make as a Christmas gift. These are the resin Santas, and these are just two of the Santas. This one is the German Santa, and this is the Finnish or Swedish Santa. Oh, there's... Finland. Yeah, this no, is fin Finnish Finland, okay? From Finland. And I need to turn him around because he's got this neat little bag on his back and antler antlers for the little case that carries it. Rust sack. That's right. As an so, antler project. And this one has 
a sack of toys on his back. And these whose are, Santa was the red one? This is the German Santa. Okay. There are 13 uh, Santas in the International Santa series. Okay. And um, these are just two of them, and they're very easy to paint. You paint them with a regular acrylic. Ah, they come all brown. They're when all they're brown. To begin with. Yeah, kind of like the base down here. You can't really see that too well, but um, they come unpainted, and you paint them any colors with you want. Acrylic paints. Acrylic paints, and don't use a real, real good brush because it, the fur and stuff tends to eat your bristles up, so it's best to. And then after you're hmm. finished painting, all you do is put a wash over them, uh, an antiquing the glaze antiquing. type of thing, and then you're finished with them. That brings out a lot of the surface detail. I know that uh, they changed radically. Oh, yes, you know, as soon as you do that. They or yeah. something, and, and the d surface detail came up yeah. much, much I think brighter. one of the things that's really nice about Christmas is being able to not only give a gift that you've made, but one that they can bring out every Christmas and remember you by. You and know, the Santas or giving a wreath or something like that is, is a very excellent way for people to be remembered year after year. Well, I know we have on, on our Christmas tree some decorations that our kids have made in historical years past. Yeah, well, that's, that's, like that's one way, but, uh, you know, I'm talking about doing something really nice that you set out, like Those a Santa. Those are really nice. Oh, they are. They are. I, I didn't mean to say that okay. they weren't. Okay. Boy, Sharon Sorry, almost kids. was in trouble. No. Right <laughs> okay. But something else that you can give as a gift is a Christmas tree. And this is just a small little tabletop tree that you could use. Or you could make this if you're going to have a party or something. You could do it for centerpiece. Okay, this one's fresh, right? You just made that I made this this afternoon. afternoon. This is another one of those make it now and use it right away projects. Um, but it's made out of that paper twist, the creative twist that's made on a styrofoam cone. And everything is just pinned into the cone. Paper twist and styrofoam mm -hmm. cone. Right. And ribbon. ribbon. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of Christmas ribbon. Christmas is such a great ribbon time, and we do have... Uh, we got a little a bit lot, left. A lot of ribbon over there. We got a little bit of a lot of ribbon. You know, yeah, there's Here's another little left. Christmas tree idea. Okay. This one is a miniature Christmas tree that I've done with baby's breath and ribbon roses and gold pearls. Okay. We're going to take a quick break and come back and look at some more for the second half of the crafty Christmas stuff here from Bobby's Hobby House. Celebrate fall with fine fashions from Ordens, where you'll find quality service and the best names in men's clothing. If you're a man who dresses for success, visit Ordens and try Damon dress shirts. Pensacola's best dressed men go to work in Damon shirts. You'll appreciate its professional, crisp look, and you can count on the single needle construction for durability. Damon means quality, selection, and exciting colors, and attractive styles of men's shirts. Come celebrate 75 years of quality service and fashion during the anniversary sale now at Ordens, downtown and Cordova Mall. Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Lamont, host of Healthline. I'd like to invite you to watch us on the Thursday night at 8 o'clock for Healthline. The medical experts from the Medical Center Clinic and West Florida Regional Medical Center will be here for the live call-in show to answer your questions on medical topics of your concern. So I invite you to stay tuned and join us on Thursday night at 8 o'clock for the live call-in show on Blab TV, TV you can talk back to. Now, there's a new place to unwind after a long day. It's the Grocery Store Bar and Grill at Government and Alcony Streets on Seville Square. Meet your friends and relax with your favorite cocktail. You'll find the warm, cozy atmosphere just right for conversation or a challenging game of pool or electronic darts. The Grocery Store Bar and Grill. Good food comes in the form of soups and sandwiches, burgers and steaks and daily luncheon specials. Food, fun and relaxation. Now at the Grocery Store Bar and Grill. The secret is yours at Diamond Secrets. Come in and take the test. Can you tell the difference between mined diamonds and simulated diamonds? Owner Mary Ham takes special pride in carefully mounting each stone in a 14-karat gold setting, paying close attention to the details that set Diamond Secrets apart from the rest. Prices start at $115 for half carats and $145 for one full carat solitaires. Jewelry repair, friendly service, and quality. Diamond Secrets, a girl's best friend, on Pace Boulevard at Town & Country Plaza. Okay, like you, while we were away for commercials, we got some new stuff on the table. Surprise, uh, surprise. We've got a big new uh, wreath. Yeah. Again, I really like working with the Creative Twist, and this has been a real fun thing to do this year. You just like unwinding all that paper stuff. 
No, I don't like unwinding it, but I like I working with it. I kind of did. Yeah, you had a good time because you put it in your drill. An easy way to loosen it, it won't undo it completely. You still have to sit there and undo it. But a, an easy way to do it is with a, an electric drill on reverse. Drill. Yeah, I just put it in just reverse. Just put it on reverse and it'll loosen it right up and then it makes it easier to get it open. This wreath is also another one of those one night projects. It's a straw wreath. It's wrapped in a creative twist. The balls are styrofoam balls wrapped in creative twist. A little diamond dust on it, a big bow with lots of plaid added to it. Did you tie that bow yourself? Yes, sir. I tied I'll be both done. Of those bows. This is called a layered bow because you have two different products and it's two separate bows put together. Can't be too tough, folks. You can't even tie her shoes, so that's. Hey, uh, I may very well learn to tie shoes too. <laughs> okay. But anyway, that's just what, something what else that makes of, it very nice. Is that an expensive thing to make? No, Creative Twist sells for. 40 cents a yard, and I think it took me five yards total to do all of that, plus hmm. the greenery and stuff. Yeah. So it's, it's not very expensive at all. The styrofoam balls, I know, you know, thinking about the science projects, we've been making molecules and uh, uh, solar systems mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. The same styrofoam balls, That's you can right. cover them to make Christmas wreaths out of them now. Just recycle right. the whole science project. Take your universe apart and use it in your Christmas tree. <laughs> Okay, this is a really nice other thing, and you can leave this out all year round. You don't have to use it just for Christmas. This is a paper mache deer form, and they come with rabbits or bears and all kinds of different shapes and stuff. And all I've done is add some greenery and another creative twist bow. And I painted, I had to paint him. He comes in white. And I just painted little eyes and a nose on him so that he'd look all sweet and endearing and everything. Endearing. Oh, is that a pun? You can also cover these with puffery or cinnamon or something and have it smell Yeah, we had something. somebody... Uh, we did one last year that we covered in cinnamon. They covered something with pine cone. Mm -hmm. Little things off of pine oh, cones. Oh, yes. I did that once. That was was a running deer. Uh, that took a lot of time. That was not a one-night project. Okay. Okay. Now, I just want to show a um, quick little favor idea that you can Go do ahead. with children's parties or if you've got if you're a room mother or something and this is a little reindeer and I should tell you I forgot the candy canes so we're going to use these that are rags just to show you what it's supposed to look like these are kind of big what you just need is a candy cane and this makes his antlers okay see and then I'm going to show you real quick how you do this okay Hi, you're on Bobby's Hobby House. Yes, I would like to know if I can purchase these items without having to make them up myself. Oh, we were just talking about that. That's the hobby part. Some of our displays are for sale. Um, you probably just have to talk to one of the girls and talk them out of it. But we really are trying to encourage people to do them. And a lot of these are very simple. You don't have to have talent to do a lot of these. It's just a matter of desire and a, few, a couple of hours. Go on by. We'll help you out. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Right. I just thought that maybe I could purchase them without having to put in the time of doing them because my time is very limited. Well, I realize that. I have very little time to work on this stuff, too. But At a later time, when I retire, I will have the time to come over there and spend eight hours a day. Good. We'll <laughs> Good. be looking for you. Looking forward to it. Okay. Thank you. Right. I hear people you really don't have retiring. to wait till you retire. You know, no. you can do a lot of this stuff. Well, like I said, a lot of these products only take an hour or less yeah. to do. All of the ornaments that we did on the tree are all 20 to 30 minute items. You know, they don't take very long at all. So it's just a matter of just finding was, a couple of minutes Was all of this here. stuff made today or did we just... No, in the last couple of days, in between waiting on all those hordes of people that have been in, we've kind of thrown it together and stuff. Okay. So, Okay, what you need for this little reindeer is two pieces of felt, approximately four inches three, square. Four inches square. That's pretty good. Okay. And then you take and you fold them in half or however you want to do it to make a triangle. I usually just fold them in half and cut from angle to angle. This is and there's right my, from the origami class, right? Right. Here's my triangles. Okay. You take the two triangles and you glue them together on the two long sides. With? With tacky glue tacky or any white glue. Okay? Then you take, and I'm so prepared tonight, I forgot the eyeballs and everything. You take two eyes that are anywhere from 17 to 20 millimeter and you glue them here. This then you is... take a darker brown 
itself. Oh, for eyelids? Yeah, well, and I wanted to talk about eyelids. the eyes while you're there because we have kind of a whole eyeball department. Yeah, you know, and people, I remember your sister and when arms, she was working there. Yeah, you know, we have arms and legs and <laughs> eyeballs. We have brains. We, we've got a lot of neat stuff in there. But I remember when Pat was working there and somebody came in and said, where are your eyes? And she goes, they're right here. <laughs> uh, but we do have an eyeball department back there in the, uh, in the back. And there are about three pages of wiggle eyes and animal eyes. And three pages? Are you speaking Those little things that again? turn around. Oh, okay. Sides to the turnaround. All right. Okay. Any rate, after you glue the eyes on, you glue the eyebrows over it, and then you can use a pom-pom, or I've used a red bead since I didn't have any red pom-poms today. And then you just we put... We have red pom-poms. No, we don't. We no, don't we don't. Have. They're all gone. Oh, no. Hopefully, we have some more coming because we need some noses for reindeers. And then you just take two candy canes and put into the top, like so, and you have his ears. And if you want to make antlers. him his antlers, excuse me. Okay, but you ate them on the way down here. No, I right? didn't. I forgot to get them. I left them at the shop like I did everything else tonight. Okay. It was one of those nights. And you can put a string on it if you want to hang it up or something on the tree. You can hang them on the Christmas tree. But this is a really quick and easy and inexpensive project later. for children's classes. So what kind of price are you talking about here? What would you say? About 50 cents. 50 cents. Mm-hmm. That's about what That's it would cost you. Total We've had cost. a lot of school teachers in this much. past week looking for projects for the kids. Yeah, there's still you know you can make the clothespin reindeers or the pine yeah, cone reindeers yeah. and the beaded candy canes and then this is just another idea for that. Okay, I've noticed people coming in the shop lately and they say, "Where is your Christmas department?" All over the store. All over the store. There are things all over there that people we, can use. If we tried to group everything that we have that you could use as Christmas in one area. We'd have the whole store, like the boat with the coffee. It would all be on one side and tipping right, and over. Right, tipped over. Right. But, uh, well, yeah, we because we got Christmas model airplanes. I saw a Christmas helicopter in there this afternoon. Did that was, you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, with the big uh, red bow on it? There were no bows on this. That, that would be a tacky thing to say to a model builder. But we'll talk about that in two weeks. <laughs> but, you know, we like to encourage people to use unusual things that they find in the shop on their... Christmas we have ornament. unusual stuff in the shop? Well, of course we do. We what what do you think is unusual? Stuff. All our stuff is unique. Don't you think? We've got some... But it's not too stuff. late. I mean, you know, it's still, what, 18... Somebody was really rude the other day and said there was only 18 days left yeah. till Christmas. I thought... I, I thought found a roll of ribbon over there that, uh, <laughs> speaking of unique, I found a roll of ribbon over there okay. that's, what are they, $100 dollar $100 bills? $100 bills, on, yeah. a, on a ribbon, a ribbon, no kidding, ribbon with $100 bills printed on it, which... That'll be really great Are not legal tender, time. yeah. Don't you think that'd be a great, great way to wrap a graduation? Wrap a graduation. Present? Guess what a lot of kids get for graduation? Exotic cars. No. And little boxes with oh, a tube of glue. Right, and then we can put the money ribbon around yeah. that. I think that'd be a really good idea. So what we want to do is encourage you to come on by and um, pick out some gifts. You can get a basket and make a gift basket. Put your favorite person's stuff in, like crochet. Buy some yarn and some needles and books. Or um, if you have a watercolorist. Watercolorist? Watercolorist, yes, that's a proper term. By the way, we do have um, Pat Regan's book. If anyone out there knows, Pat Regan is a local watercolor artist who has written a book, and we do carry her book. Um, we have Dale Boyd's airbrush book, We have Daryl Boyd. Who also he, a local that's person. That's right, local who, artist. We have his airbrushing book. Um, and on Scale Modeler Magazine, one of the local guys has a cover shot of his right. B-52. So which, Pensacola's not out there in the boonies. It's really becoming well-known. <laughs> in some areas, yeah, we're, we're making That's making, right. For something good instead of um, plane crashes and things like that. Oh, that's so, negative. Let's not talk about no, that. We've got a foot, really good. good football team in town, too. That's right. That's a couple of nights. And your now. shirt. We didn't talk about your shirt, did you? No, this, this shirt is a spin-a-pat shirt. Um, it's done a on a, the children's spin art little machine. Yeah. And I've saved Michael's from when he was a little kid. He never finally, got to play with it. Finally found a good thing to do with it. Well, no, it was brand new when I got out of the box the other day. But it, you spin them in the applique method and okay. um, just something and else. decorated them with some of those uh, glitter, glitter glues the, and that the kind of The glitter, the fabric paints and stuff, yeah. yeah. So we've so. got a lot of things left. There's still a little time if you do these quick projects to 
to make projects for Christmas. Uh, for those that don't have time, then we've got some things you could give people for Christmas and let them make it. That's right. And now uh, if you have Christmas crafts questions, come on in also, to Bobby's Hobby House and we're right. ready to go Ladies, down the road. be sure your husbands have a list of what you want when you come in. And husbands, be sure you gave your wife the right airplane number. Good instructions. Yeah, good That's instructions. That's right. When they please. come in for it, be sure you, you, you gave or call us. All you have to do is say, I'm the wife or husband of. Here's what I want. Make sure they know what I want. Okay, and you can <laughs> see us down at Bobby's Hobby House. We'll be glad to help you with your hobby questions. Have a good evening.